Former gubernatorial candidate Robert Foster is speaking out about the Governor Tate Reeves' response to the coronavirus in Mississippi. Kayla Thompson spoke with Foster about a movement created from a hashtag. Kayla? Well, Byron, that hashtag is Mask Off Mississippi, and Robert Foster says enough is enough. I have a problem with the government forcing people to wear a mask. That's the issue, them forcing us to do it. And forcing our children is the biggest issue to me. Former gubernatorial candidate Robert Foster posted the hashtag Mask Off Mississippi on Facebook, and it has become a movement. I, I can't remember even when the first time was that I put it out, but, you know, the main thing here is, is we just want to be able to get our lives back to normal, and there's, there's really no legal argument for us to continue to have a state of emergency. Since March, there have been 84,365 total cases and 2,526 deaths. Foster says he thinks closing some of the businesses and not all was unnecessary, but feels that the governor's decision to close schools wasn't a bad idea. But we should have opened them back up once we realized that all of the numbers coming out of Europe and out of Asia are proving uh, what we have proved now here in America, that children just are simply not affected by this virus. It's a very, very very rare occurrence for a child to be affected negatively by this virus. We have a total number of teachers under quarantine of 532 with 3,730 students on quarantine. Foster says he knows that the virus can be deadly for some and says it's tragic, but people should be able to determine what risk they are willing to take. Because the vast majority of the working population, the young, healthy people are sick and tired of being punished uh, for something that, that we have no risk of, of, of hardly getting sick from. Foster says continuing mandates and executive orders will just have a negative impact on small businesses and many won't recover. This is something Governor Reeves sympathized with. We're going to look back on 2020 and there are going to be a lot of small businesses uh, that don't make it. And that's, that's horrible and, and I, I absolutely hate it. Whether you're for keeping your mask on or taking it off, experts say Labor Day will bring about a new wave of cases if we aren't careful. For more information on how you can protect you and your family, you can go to our website, wjtv.com. Melanie.